Hello, I'm Michael Rice, Michigan State Superintendent. Over the past several months, the Michigan Department of Education has shared some positive trends about public education in Michigan. Michigan students, teachers, support staff, and administrators are doing a lot of great work in Michigan's public schools. This is important news, and we need to help share this news where and when we can, in particular the improvements in National Assessment of Educational Progress, or NAEP Reading Ranks, Great Start Readiness Program, Career and Technical Education, Early Middle College and Dual Enrollment, and Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate Programs. First, let's look at NAEP, the only test that compares states across the country in early literacy. As this graph shows, Michigan rose to 32nd in the nation in fourth grade reading, up from 35th in 2017 and 41st in 2015. In eighth grade reading, Michigan advanced to 28th in the nation, up from 30th in 2017 and 31st in 2015. Second, Michigan's public early childhood education program for four-year-olds, the Great Start Readiness Program, or GSRP, is tied for the highest quality public preschool program in the country with two other states. Additionally, in the last eight years, Michigan increased by 129% the number of half-day GSRP slots and by 68% the number of GSRP students. Great progress in Great Start. That said, we still have a lot of work to do. Only 55% of those eligible in the state receive services, and we need to expand services to all young people in need, consistent with Governor Whitmer's plan. Third, the number of career and technical education, or CTE, programs offered to Michigan students has grown 18% over the past four years, from 1,700 in 2014-15 to over 2,000 in 2018-19. As the amount of programming has increased, the number of students completing career and technical education programs has increased by over 75% in the state in the past four years, from 27,000 in 2014-15 to 47,000 in 2018-19. A CTE completer is a student who has successfully completed courses covering all of the CTE program standards in a state-approved CTE program and who has taken the required technical skills assessment for that program. CTE student enrollment grew to 110,000 students last school year, 23% of the state's high school students. Fourth, early middle college availability and interest for students and schools in the state has increased. Early middle college programs allow students to earn college credit credentials, certificates of achievement, certificates, or associate degrees while still in high school. The number of early middle college programs in Michigan has increased from 67 in the 2014-2015 school year to 142 during the 2018-2019 school year, a four-year increase of 112%. Early middle college student enrollment in Michigan has risen from 6,485 students in the 2014-15 school year to 13,065 students during the 18-19 school year, a four-year increase of 101 percent. On average, students earned 40 college credits through their participation in an early middle college program. Fifth. The number of Michigan students taking dual enrollment classes, where students take individual college courses while still attending high school, has risen from 23,000 students in the 2014-15 school year to over 28,000 in the 2017-2018 school year. On average, students earn 14 to 15 college credits from dual enrollment classes that can be transferred to a college or university. Sixth. There's been an 18% increase in the number of Michigan students enrolled in AP courses from 67,000 in 2014-15 to 79,000 in 2018-19. Historically underrepresented groups enrolling in AP courses grew significantly. Hispanic Latino students by 63%, economically disadvantaged students by 39%, and African American students, or those of two or more races, by 14%. Seventh, there has been a 78% increase in the number of students enrolled in International Baccalaureate, or IB, programs 
from 7,000 in 2014-15 to 12,000 in 2018-19. This increase includes historically underrepresented groups, which grew substantially. Special needs students by 201 percent, economically disadvantaged students by 111 percent, Hispanic Latino students by 99 percent, and African American students or those of two or more races by 83 percent. All of this group, this growth, is exciting and encouraging as Michigan students and educators continue to build on our educational progress. We should be aware and proud of the improvements in public education in Michigan, especially in light of inadequate and inequitable school funding in the state, as well as a significant teacher shortage. Can we do better? No question. And we have a responsibility to do so. But we need to speak up about the gains we've made and the encouraging growth as we continue to build on our educational progress. I'm urging you to share this exciting news, and more importantly, your own local progress and points of pride within your communities. Thank you for helping make Michigan public schools great for our children.